Hey, what is up people? This is Rasan back again with another video and in this video I am going to show you how to make dynamic notification in your KV app, okay? So, I am going to use... Okay guys, I am going to use this flower from KV Garden, the notification flower. Basically, this flower is going to make a widget, okay? Something like uh, a browser-like notification with all the basic KV features available, okay? In the documentation we can find you can use it either in its own default state whether is only basic title and message with some of the color configuration okay or you can input your own message layout in kv language the message string is available through the app.message property for more such properties read that code okay now we are going to make a notification using the app okay guys first of all let me show the demonstration okay let's see how it actually look like okay now i'm going to click the button okay here we can find two notification with a button one is disappeared because i set the timer to five second okay this button is clickable okay you guys can see okay now i'm going to close this application okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this project from scratch okay okay first of all I'm going to take a blank Python file okay in this Python file I'm going to import the kv app okay so from kv.app import app and then I'm going to import the builder module from kv.lang import builder okay now i'm going to install a module so for installing the flower actually i'm going to install the flower so for install the installing the flower just uh, you have to install kiwi garden okay so for that simply type pip install kiwi garden okay i already installed it so requirements are already satisfied now i am going to install the notification flower okay so garden install notification notification let me set uh, let me check the spelling okay we can see the requirement is already satisfied now i am going to import this okay so from kv dot garden dot notification okay import what i'm going to put i'm going to import the notification class okay here and then i'm going to create a language a string okay and this is this string is going to identify the kv variable okay and here i'm going to add a button and this button here okay guys let me create the base app okay the main class before editing the kv string okay class let me name it to main and this class is going to inherit from the app class and here i'm going to add the build method sorry guys my bad and here i'm going to return the kv language okay so i'm going to load this using builder module okay now i'm going to run this okay using this run method and method okay now i'm going to add some widget in my kv, lang KV language okay so uh, i just added a button and then i'm going to set the text okay let's say notification okay and then i'm going to set the size hint the size hint sorry guys my bad the size into will be 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 okay and i'm going to set the position after that okay position is going to be a dictionary property so center of x is going to be at 0 0.5 and also the center of y axis is going to be at 0 0.5 okay okay let me close this 
okay now I'm going to add a now I'm going to bind a method okay so I'm going to calling the on release attribute and then app dot notify okay or app dot notification something like that now I'm going to add a function here that I declare earlier okay notification let me copy this piece of text and paste it here so it is my bad okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to access this notification class okay notification dot open okay so I need to pass a parenthesis and then a dot and then I'm going to say open something okay what is going to open okay this flower has couple of feature okay you can add icons title TV widgets and lots of other things so first of all I'm going to set the title okay the title will be hello there okay and let me add a comma and then I'm going to set the icon okay the sorry is my bad icon will be okay I'm going to load a KV logo okay here is the logo let me show you this is the logo now I'm going to load this okay so now I'm going to write the name here write the name of the logo TV sorry is my bad TV logo dot png okay okay then I'm going to set a message let's say hi I am a not demo notification okay and then I'm going to set the timeout okay the timeout is going to be let's say five second okay now I'm going to run this file and let's see if there is any error or not okay uh, I need to put a comma here okay let me read on my file there is an error okay okay my bad the quotation mark is going to end at the y alphabet okay now i'm going to run my program <laughs> another error okay guys i need to put a quotation mark here okay if i press the notification button okay there is a notification appeared as i told okay i said that duration uh, i said the timeout to five seconds okay now i'm going to add a more notification with a kv language okay so here i'm going to add another notification notification dot open what is going to open okay here i'm going to copy this piece of attributes and I'm going to change change it okay let's say demo and then I'm going to remove the icon and going to remove the message and here I'm going to add a button okay uh, so for adding a button I need to pass a KV language okay so I'm going to load the KV language using a very uh, using an attribute and this is built-in attribute okay the kv 
and it is going to be I'm going to add a string with uh, formatted with KV, KV okay so first of all I'm going to add a button and then I'm going to add a line break okay and then I'm going to add four space one two three and four after that I'm going to set the text attribute and the text attribute is going to be let's say click okay click me okay now I need to close this okay let me run this and let's check if it works or not if I press the notification button okay here a button we got okay the five second is just now I'm going to set the timer to 10 and here it is going to be also 10 now I'm going to rerun my program okay if I click the notification button okay here is a button we can click it and here is a logo okay so guys i think this is enough for today's video and if you face any kind of problem then let me know in the comment section in my next video i'm going to show you how to use another flower of kiwi garden till then goodbye